video, I am going to talk about the lymphatic drainage of the breast and the development of the breast. So, the lymph vessels form the major route of spread of cancer to the adjacent lymph nodes. That's why the knowledge of the lymphatics is of great importance to the surgeons. For convenience, the lymphatics of the breast is described as lymph nodes and lymphatic vessels or lymphatics that drain the breast. The lymph nodes draining the breast are the axillary group of lymph nodes which contains anterior or pectoral, posterior group, central and the lateral group. The internal mammary nodes that drain or these nodes are lying around the internal thoracic vessels. Supraclavicular nodes present above the clavicle. The posterior intercostal nodes lie in the posterior intercostal space in front of the heads of the ribs. The cephalic nodes lie in the deltopectoral nodes. So these are the lymph nodes where the lymphatics of the breast come and drain into. The lymphatic drainage of the breast, that is the lymphatic draining, we can divide into two, that is the superficial lymphatic vessels and the deep lymphatics. The superficial lymphatics drain the skin of the breast except that of nipple and areola. The deep lymphatics drain the parenchyma of the breast and the skin of the nipple and areola. A plexus of lymph vessels deep to the areola is called as subareola plexus of sapi. The subareola plexus and most of the lymph from the breast drain into the anterior group of axillary lymph nodes. The superficial lymphatics of the breast of one side communicate extensively with those of the opposite side. Thus, the unilateral malignancies become bilateral. The lymphatic drainage from the breast occurs as follows. The lymph from the lateral quadrant of the breast is drained into the anterior, anterior axillary or pectoral group of lymph nodes. And these lymph nodes are situated deep to the lower border of pectoralis minor muscle. The lymph from the medial quadrant is drained into internal mammary lymph nodes situated along the internal mammary artery. A few lymph vessels from the lower lateral quadrant of the breast follow the posterior intercostal arteries and drain into the posterior intercostal nodes that is located along the course of these arteries. A few lymph vessels from the lower medial quadrant of the breast pierce the anterior abdominal wall and communicate with the subdiaphragmatic and subperitoneal lymph plexus. The lymph vessels from the deep surface of the breast, it pierces the pectoralis major and the clavipectoral fascia and drain into apical group of axillary lymph nodes. So that completes the lymphatics of the breast. Now, coming to the development of the breast, the breast is developed from two sources, the epithelial lining of the ducts and the alveoli is derived from the surface ectoderm and the fibro fatty stroma is from the mesoderm. In the seventh month of intrauterine life, two ectodermal ridges appear on each side of the ventral body wall and extend from the axillary to the inguinal regions. In humans, the milk ridges in the pectoral region persist and gives rise to the development of the breast. Rest of the ridges, they regress. The axillary tail of the breast, it represents the cephalic end of the milk ridge. The pectoral portion of the ridge, it presents a surface depression. It's called as the mammary pit. 
from the bottom of the spit about 15 to 20 epithelial cords they grow into the underlying dermis so these epithelial cords will form the rudiments of the lactiferous ducts deeper ends of the cords they subdivide further and terminate as ampullated ends the cords are canalized at the end of the fetal life shortly before birth the pit is evaginated by the growth of underlying mesoderm and forms the nipple. The areola develops at the fifth month of the fetal life. At birth, transient hypoplasia of the duct system and there is a secretion of which milk takes place. This happens by the combined action of fetal prolactin and maternal estrogen. Talking about the congenital anomalies of the breast, Emastea is a condition where there is bilateral agenesis of mammary glands, but this condition is very, very rare. Polythea, where there is supernumerary nipples, may be found irregularly over the breast and not along the milk ridges. This is called as polythelia. Next, talking about the polymastia. Poly means many. So, accessory breast may occur along the milk ridge. On a rare occasion, they may be functional. 